Welcome to Trafalgar Square. And there is the statue of Admiral Nelson right in the middle. Trafalgar Square is visited by 15 million tourists a year. It's a wide open space, a public square in the city of Westminster, built around the area formerly known as Charing Cross. It's a great place to people watch and to hang out, and it's surrounded by a lot of hustle and bustle and interesting things to see. A little known fact is that Trafalgar Square hasn't always just been a gathering place for people. In the 1950s, construction revealed the skeletons of a number of animals under the square, including ancient cave lions, rhinos, and hippos. The name of the square commemorates the Battle of Trafalgar, a British naval victory in the Napoleonic Wars with France and Spain that took place in 1805 off the coast of Cape Trafalgar. It was officially named Trafalgar Square in 1830, but didn't open to the public until 1844. Nelson's Column has special significance for the British. It was designed by William Railton and features a statue of naval war hero Admiral Horatio Nelson. He had previously lost an arm and an eye in battle, but he lost his life in the Battle of Trafalgar. The granite statue was sculpted by E. H. Bailey. It's five meters high and stands on a bronze platform made from old guns. It's inspected every two years to assess its condition. So important is Nelson's column for London that during World War II, the Nazis had planned to capture it and bring it back to Berlin. Sir Edwin Landseer designed the bronze lions which are said to protect Nelson's column. Originally the lions were on their hind legs, but Queen Victoria found it shocking and didn't like what she saw underneath, so she demanded the lions be lying down. One major attraction here is the National Gallery, which since opening in 1824 has grown to be one of the most visited art galleries in the world. In fact, only the Louvre, the British Museum, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York welcome more guests every year. It features over 2,300 paintings. St. Martin in the Fields Church is an English Anglican church. There has been a church on this site since at least the medieval period. When its old structure was found to be near failure, the present building was constructed in a neoclassical design by James Gibbs from 1722 to 1726. The square has always been used for community gatherings and political demonstrations. A Christmas tree has been donated to the square by Norway since 1947 and is erected for 12 days before and after Christmas Day. Well that's it from Trafalgar Square. Cheerio!